spoilers if you haven't watched Flash episode 202, but another Flash has joined Team Flash and Sketchy Wells has returned to our world. All thanks to the DC multiverse, it's time for Flash Chat. Hey everybody, it's me, Just Jess, and welcome to Flash Chat. Episode two of season two started off super strong, and we are here to talk about it today. My guests today are Garrett Tishy of We Love Charlotte and Kat Samaraki. She is one of our master control operators. Um, explain master control for people who don't know. Um, well, we get our um, some of our shows come down on satellite, so we have to record are the shows and then I also have to keep track of when our our local commercial breaks air as well as keep a track of our um, transmitter to make sure that we're live on air. So you kind of get the stuff on air for us. You're very important <laughs> here at the yeah. station. So I mean she's not working right now. It's not like the TV's gonna go black. And tell <laughs> us about We Love Charlotte. Sure. So started it as a kind of a thing to just meet new people mm -hmm. and turned into this kind of local movement around um, loving Charlotte, not for things, but for the people that make it so awesome. Make so, it yeah, for Ed. Kind of blew up. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. If you look at it, it's on Instagram, Twitter. Is there a Facebook page too? Facebook, everything's Everything. we love CLT. We love CLT, and we sure do. And we also love The Flash. And man, this was a big episode. It started off season strong. We were last week, we were at Heroes Comic Book Store, and we are finally now back at our set, but we did a, um, Skype with Tom Cavanaugh. So if you guys haven't seen that, look on our YouTube channel. You can watch this whole long interview with Tom Cavanaugh. I keep plugging that because Sketchy Wells has returned to our life. I mean, so much happened in this episode. I had to write it down because I can't remember all the stuff that happened. It was so much. So we got the DC multiverse, which that's a big deal in the DC world. It kind of defines DC in a lot of ways and they're bringing it into the show. Um, pretty soon on, they only waited one season. Um, we've got We've met the new Flash, Jay Garrick. Pretty cool dude so far, we're thinking. Um, Cisco is starting to have those vibe powers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Patty Spivet has been, I mean, this is all in one episode. It's like a list. Patty Spivet made her debut. Mama West shows up, which I can't, I don't know. Do you guys watch Scandal at all? Yes. Okay, I keep thinking of Scandal. I mean, I'm not caught up, but like how her mom is sketchy. And mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like we're going to make coming. a parallel. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, I'm thinking. I could be, I don't know. I haven't watched Scandal in a while because I don't work for that station. Um, and so then we had that big final ending scene on Earth 2 where the Wells back. And man, he was being straight sketchy again, I thought. But let's get right into Jay Garrick. Um, what do you guys think about Jay Garrick so far? Um, calm and calm. kind of... Uh lovable in a weird way yeah. you know compared to you got this Barry who's kind of paranoid and and losing it a little bit yeah. and then you have Jay who's just even killed throughout the whole episode it's true does he remind you of Wells back in the day not really because I think that yeah he's chill but for me it's more of I think that for me my favorite part of the episode for sure was when um, Barry finally accepted Jake. Yeah. And I think that him getting over, I think that's going to help with the trust issues with the whole team in general. Because he was having some mad trust issues and he was asking Iris, which, like, I think it's a cool thing that he can always go back to Iris, but sometimes you ever feel like that's forced with a, can we have a second alone, Barry, let's chat. You know, like, it's a little, do you think it's forced or do you still believe that relationship? I'm torn, torn because of the whole um, with her ex-fiance, mm -hmm. how that's come now she's still thinking about him and I know she's got Barry, yeah. so they've been friends for that long, but it's starting to become forced. Yeah. It's Would, like on that verge. It's, yeah, it's on the verge of it. What do you think? I just wonder how many times they'll, they'll go back to the Iris well. Like she's, yeah. you know, but it's been six months since Eddie. Yeah. Now it's clear the room, let's have a conversation, kind of just... It, it seems a little out a of little place. Awkward. Yeah, it's a little awkward. just slowly walks into the next room and like listens, <laughs> like what, what... I know, I'm like, <laughs> sure. Because if, I mean, in real life, if that happened, what would everybody do? Yeah. Like, uh, what do you guys talk about? interesting. Yeah. But I guess they have the understanding. They know that they're like a brother-sister type duo. Um, I think, though, you know, those added elements are good, but I think this season they're going to do a lot with the West family 
especially since Wally West is supposed to be coming in. So mm -hmm. I think that that'll give that a whole, there'll be more to do with Iris West. And I think she'll have a stronger role this season. Um, the Caitlin love interest theory, a lot of people are talking about maybe her and Jay. Thoughts? What would they that? They were certainly not hiding it. Would it be like Snow Jay? What would that be? <laughs> uh, we'll we need a ship that. name. <laughs> but yeah, they were they were all about it. They it were. was not subtle. No. Now, um, I don't know if it would work because of the whole um, two different worlds. Yeah. Would she go to his world or would he stay here? Interesting. And there couldn't, I, I don't think there could be two flashes. A multiverse relationship. <laughs> yeah. Oh, modern society. I, <laughs> it is a very long they distance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I know we'll, we'll talk about Cisco later, but I wonder, they've hinted at her moving towards meta powers right. at some point. Oh, so yeah, strongly hinted. Is that where she becomes a, a villain and he's... That's a good point. And, he's a he's a hero. And so yeah, let's talk about Cisco. I mean, so his vibe powers we see them coming about in the show, and he is realizing them quickly. Do you guys think it's like a, he's afraid it's an evil power brought on by the Mean Wells? What do you guys think? Do you think it's an evil power? I don't know. Cisco's personality is very. I, I don't see evil at all yet, but yes. it, it could take a turn. Like a dark power within him. Because, I mean, Sis or um, Wells infected Flash, but he's not a villain. Yeah, true. I just feel like Cisco seems like the most pure on the show. Yeah. Um, when it comes down to everything, always kind of on point with being the most ethical exactly. at times. So I feel like if anybody's going to be able to overcome that kind of dark power, yeah. it could be him. And I'd be, I'd be devastated if he goes dark because he's that, and he's also has the, he also has the professor's assistance in yeah. a way yeah. because he's like he helped kind of like okay well what's going on exactly he kind of like coaching him and the professor gentle old man yeah okay. well it may be something that he has to overcome that could be like a mm -hmm. whole plot device it could be a darkness within and then he has to learn how to handle it but speaking of professor stein we see him faint in the end what do you think that's about I'm ho I'm honestly hoping that there's a some type of connection with Ronnie. Yeah. In the other world. <laughs> what do you think? That's a sign. I'm hoping. A sign. Well, we, as a we all anybody that reads comics are like nobody's ever dead, nobody's ever gone for good, yeah. and it's just that's always my my biggest concern is um, like it does it, nothing has this finality to it. No. Like, it's like so a soap opera. like oh. They'll be back, yep. you know. Yeah. Um, at what point is Eddie back on the show? Like all these right. things, like it's just inevitable. Wells showed up at the end of the episode, so it just worries me when, like as much as we'd all love Ronnie back, like do we need Ronnie back? True, but I mean, um, he'll be back. I know. You know and then, then it's gonna throw off the. It's gonna create a love triangle. Yes, with I think, Caitlin. I think there'll be oh, that. Definitely. Yes, and I think that. Um, They've kind of set, they've laid the groundwork for perhaps Martin Stein merging in Firestorm with another person. So maybe maybe him fainting is something, they, there's been rumors, I don't know, if it, I, maybe I just read one rumor and that's why <laughs> I took that as fact. But there is, a, um, there is some, uh, my thought when I saw that scene is maybe him fainting is kind of, he's, because he, he says something like, let's put our heads together, well not literally, and so I'm thinking maybe he needs another life force within him to keep him okay. And so maybe he, they'll find somebody who's willing to firestorm it up with him and make another like duo. And, and so I thought maybe like the fainting was a sign that they'll figure out he needs another firestorm. Sure. That's possible. We'll, we'll see. see. Yeah. I like predicting things and I like when it comes out or, true. Remember too, with Earth 2, there's another version of all of them. Exactly. So Ronnie's somewhere in Earth too. Or there could be 52 other versions of yes. all of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 52. God, so it's, okay, that's my question too with the DC multiverse. Is it a little too confusing for, D, for TV? Do you guys think it's too confusing? I think they hit parts of it, but there's no way they're gonna be able to get all of it. Yeah. I think we'll inevitably see full episode, Earth 2 episodes yeah. where we just don't see you know, Earth One, Barry, Iris, that whole crew, and it's just, so as long as they spend that time and show it a little bit of respect yeah. that we should care, I think it won't get too confusing. Yeah. Man, it's, it's coming. Could, it, could, it could get real, it could get real he, weird. You know how the professor's working on the whole, I guess I'll say the wormhole. Mm -hmm. And so 
eventually, doesn't mean I don't, I don't think they're going to figure out anytime soon, but eventually they're going to figure it out and then they're going to try and send things back and forth. Oh, yeah. Oh, Definitely. Nonstop. Yeah. It'll be like now you can get your groceries at Walmart without, <laughs> that's what it made me think of. You can, <laughs> you can just call right in, get your you can call right up to Earth too and be like, I'm going to send my kid here so my other self can watch it and we don't have <laughs> a whole system you can work out. What'd you guys think about Patty Spivet? I liked her. She, she was fine so far. It was, it was quick trust developed. Um, yeah. They made, they made the uh, Monty Python joke together. So I think yes. that bonds, that bonds a couple. I think, well, they rumored that she will be a love interest for Barry. How do we feel about that? Do you think, I feel like, here's my opinion. I think Barry should maybe date outside of his, like, group of friends. The little group, yeah. Yeah, and it's, it, it gets tricky. It does, and yeah. now she's, again, developing a relationship with Arsa's dad, and yeah. then it's just. It's back to It's that. right back to it. Stop dating on the she's police. She's going to be in the line first. of fire. She's, she's you know, yeah. now an issue. I'm just. Here we go again. Yes. Predictions. How many episodes will it take her to figure out Barry is a Flash? I think they'll quickly bring her into the fold. Really? I think they have to. Okay. I'm hoping they don't. Yeah. Because. Um, For another Irish scenario. Yeah. It takes a full season. <laughs> I think they'll bring her. But you're hoping they don't because why? Um, I don't know. I just want more of the build the complex rather than just bring it straight in. Yeah. I want to see more of the connection that he has with um, Iris's dad. Mm -hmm. And then, because he, remember at first, he didn't understand the whole Flash thing. He was slowly brought in. Yeah. So I'm kind of hoping that happens the same, because they don't know her. Yeah. They, they just found out the reason why mm -hmm. that she wants to be on the team. Yeah. And so like, the, yeah, the trust is there for be on the team, but that's a whole nother world, like another, something for someone to understand. It is. It's a lot. She was oddly convenient placing in the episode. Like, she was just yeah. showed up right when she I needed mean, to, yeah. you know, take down um, and I, I'm uh, Sand Demon and stuff like that. Exactly. So. Did you guys like that iconic scene with the flashes of two worlds running so, at a slow pace? I was waiting pace. for it. Yeah, yeah, you were waiting for it. Well, I didn't know they were going to recreate the scene. I thought they just did it for the poster, but yeah. good for them. That yeah. was cool. It was cool. I think they probably have a lot of fun with that kind of stuff on the show. I'm sure there's probably more than we all even realize. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. I miss a lot of the Easter eggs, and I enjoy watching them. I liked the Easter egg last week in Arrow. I won't say it in case people haven't seen it, but you can just look on my Twitter. I put a screenshot <laughs> of it. Um, Arrow is tonight at 8, so watch that. Um, so the biggest thing I thought where I literally yelled at the TV was at the very end when we see sketchy Wells. And it was, oh man, first of all, Earth 2 is looking pretty sweet. It, it was a pretty cool setup. But then I, they, this show has a real good way about bringing all the feels at the very end of the episode. And I'm sure they have a lot of fun doing that. But I think us viewers at home have even more fun watching. So let's go ahead and just let's check out the scene with Sketchy Wells returning. I'd like to personally welcome you to the Scientific and Technological Advanced Research Laboratories, or as it's more commonly known, Star Labs. Founded in 1991, Star Labs is leading the world in exciting new technological discoveries that, as our motto suggests, are truly bringing us tomorrow's world today. Specializing in artificial intelligence, genetics, and metahuman studies. Oh, are we in for an unexpected treat? It is my absolute honor to introduce you to the founder of Star Labs, the savior of Central City, Dr. Harrison Wells. Hello, kids. Loved that part. Man, I was like jumping in the chair. I thought that was so cool. Thoughts? What did you guys think when you saw this scene? Extra creepy. Extra creepy, yeah. right? You know, hello, kids. Hello, like, just kids. real. <laughs> you look delicious or something. Like, it was, For me, I was just like, is this Earth 2 Wells or is this Earth 1 Wells? That's a great question. And that's what I was wondering, too. I was, I was thinking, okay, is Wells kind of like a Zoom? Like, of all the worlds where there's only one of him. I'm, 
I'm curious because he, I don't know. Is he Thon? I mean, this is where it's going to get a because, little too much from a blonde head. Yeah, to deal if, with. We, if we remember that in um, Harrison Wells is the original Harrison Wells was an evil. It yeah. was his, it was the person that was inside of him. I can't remember his name. Yeah, that was Thon. evil. Yeah. yeah, Thon. Yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay. They sure set it up to make him seem creepy in that scene. Just the way he delivered the line, which, man, Tom Cavanaugh, on point with the acting in the show. He's, it's got to be so much fun, too, to play, like, the hidden layers. But he very well could be in the next scene. Hello, kids. You guys want to go on a ride? You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And I'm, I'm nervous with the, it, you know, who's Zoom, this yes. kind of whole thing. He's back in, again, going back to the nobody's dead. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just... I'm so nervous that they're gonna, they're just gonna make him zoom at some right. point, and that seems easy and lazy. It so. does. You know, here's a theory out of left field, but maybe, maybe, um, there is a lot of rumors about Eddie having the talisman from his family, and he could be cobalt blue. They could, in some weird world, make Eddie a bad guy, bring him back as the zoom. Big revelation at the end of the season. We'll see. <laughs> Because so that's, that's out of left field. But you never know. You I, never know. Well, I, yeah, I agree with you. I don't want Wells to be Zoom. Yeah, I think they'll that inevitably would... have, you know, the, you know, Barry meets Earth 2, mm -hmm. you know, Wells. That's going to be this whole, maybe he's good. And we go right back to the trust well. Yeah. I think that could be fun and interesting. And, and maybe Earth 2 Caitlin is the bad Caitlin. Remember when she's the killer frost. Oh, there you go. That could do it. Because, I mean, they're, like, um, in... Um, some one world there's more villains and one world there's more heroes. Yeah, there's, we never know. There, you don't. You don't. They could be bad, good multiverses. You never know. It's only episode two, and there's so much to talk about. We should probably be done with chatting today because we'll be, we could be here for hours. But <laughs> episode three is looking like it's going to be a pretty good one. It looks like they're going to introduce back in the the rogues. Um, so I'm pretty excited to see what comes up next week. Let's take a look at the trailer from the next episode. Okay, son, make me proud. Captain Cold has a father. Colonel Cold. Don't worry, I remember our deal. You leave me alone, I make sure no one dies. Oh. I thought I stepped on an ear. Yeah. The Flash, only next Tuesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. So I like Colonel Cold. That's yeah. funny. Lots mm -hmm. of Halloween costume options. Yeah, I think uh, I'm excited to have the road, the Captain Cold and everyone back. Yeah. I think they're they're always by far the most. Um, they give them the most respect out of villains. Villains come and go in one episode, right. but it's neat to have them. They've developed their story, so yeah, and seeing them back. It's, it's good. like they're likable villains or something. I don't know. They're they're above the other ones. They're yeah. not you're they're not you're like write off villains. Well, this was a great episode of The Flash, and next week it's looking big. Um, make sure to tune in tonight for Arrow, followed by Supernatural, and then, of course, the news at 10 and The Edge. And if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure to watch our new comedy, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. It comes out on Mondays at 8 o'clock, followed by Jane the Virgin, who's back in action. Real good episodes this week. You can catch them on the CW.com. Uh, they put up the episodes so you can watch them. Um, but thanks, you guys, for being here. Is there anything coming up with We Love Charlotte we need to know about? Um, just to check out the Instagram, Twitter. Um, do a takeover. So the Instagram account is 100% takeover. So if you want to show all of Charlotte who you are for one day, um, you can take over the whole. And we just broke um, 10,500 followers. So it's, it's growing. Very quickly. Very cool. Maybe Flash Chat will have to take over the We Love Charlotte Love Instagram. It. We should do it. Well, thanks, guys. It's been a fun episode, and we'll see you next week.